Hi, in today's video <clears throat> I want to talk to you a little bit about screws and screwdriver bits. A problem that I hear again and again is that someone's got a screw and the head's been ripped off and they can't get the screw in and they can't get the screw out. So what to do? Well, you can grab it with a pliers or you can grab it with a, a mole grips and, and take it out. But I think more than that, we should understand how did the problem occur? Why is the head ripped off the screw? And usually the problem is you're using the wrong bit or somebody else used the wrong bit and now you're stuck with this stripped screw and you need to get it out. So I'm just going to show you a few types of screws, two or three different kinds of bits, and once you can recognize the screw and understand which bit to use for the screw, you should have eliminated this problem. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so here we have some common screws. I live in Israel. These are common screws for me in Israel. They're pretty universal. Um, the most common wood screw that we find here are chipboard screws. These are chipboard screws. And the head on these screws is called a PZ. It's short for positive drive, PZ. And the PZ head, it's a plus sign and like the letter X when you look at the pattern on the top. Here on a, like a packet of screws that you get from the hardware store, uh, screw bits, screwdriver bits, that you get from the hardware store, it shows it as like a sort of an asterisk sign. But when you look at it a bit closely, I hope you can see that. It's hard to get it focused, but there's a plus sign and an X. I'll try and get it a bit closer, I don't know. Okay, so this is a PZ3. It's a big screw with a big head and his screwdriver bit. You see here we've got PZ1, PZ2, PZ3. The big one's PZ3. So that fits perfectly in there. And I hope you can see this. This is the screwdriver bit. See, it's quite blunt on the end, the PZ3. And there's little like fillets in the corners. It's not just a cross shape, there's these little fillets. And that fits perfectly in a PZ screw, okay? The smaller the screw, the smaller the PZ number you want. These very small screws are PZ1, PZ2, PZ3. Over here we've got Phillips, except for this one. We've got Phillips screws, and they're simply a cross, like a plus sign. Here I've got one in my hand. I hope you can get focused. So this is a Phillips, it's simply a plus sign. And this one is a PH2. It's not so big, it's not so small. PH2 is this one. And it also says on the bit what it is. It says here, I don't know, can you see that? It says here, PH2. And that fits perfectly in the PH2. This is also PH2 here. And that fits perfectly in there. Now the problems begin when you use the wrong bit for the wrong screw. For example, if I take my PH2 and stick it in a PZ2, it fits, but not very well. It's a bit wobbly. And this will rip the head of the screw. It'll also won't do your bit any good. It'll tear off the corners. Okay, so you don't want to put a PH in a PZ. And you don't want to put a PZ2 in a PH2. Like this one, excuse my hands in the way. It kind of fits, but not very well. And this will rip the head of the screw and destroy your bit. So what I hope you can take away from this video that even if you can't quite see the, the picture here, 
if you just go to the hardware store and buy yourself a little cheap set like this, you'll understand what does a PZ look like, what does a PH look like, and on the screws you can differentiate because the PH is simply a plus. And if you use the right bit for the right screw, you're not gonna tear the heads off your screws. One exception, this one's a bit different. This isn't a P anything, it's not a PZ, it's not a PH. This is a T. They call these torques or spacks or decking screws. These are construction screws. They're a bit more um, soft than a regular screw. They won't snap. Regular screws can snap, they'll bend a bit. Some of them have got a self-drilling end, but never mind all of those details. The head, this is a T Schlossheim. It's a big one. Here is a set of T bits. We've got hexagons here as well, which is like Allen keys. Let's not worry about those. So here it's T1, uh, T10, T15, T20, T25, 27, 30. This is a 30 and it fits perfectly. On the 27, it's a bit loose and that will rip the head of your screw. So use the right size and use the right bit with all of the screws. Get the right size, the right bit for the right screw and you won't rip your screw heads off any longer. Well, I hope that helped you in some way. Have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye for now.